Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the South Florida Gospel News. I am your faithful host, Deborah Hall McCubbin. How y'all doing this morning? I'm so glad to be here. I have a lot to talk about, so we're going to get right into it. And the first thing that I want to do is to tell you about um, the um, Garden of Life Palm Beaches Marathon that I participated in yesterday. I'm going to just give a quick rundown about everything that happened. Put my glasses back on. I'll give you a quick rundown about everything that happened. I had such a wonderful time. That was Saturday, December 9th. So I got some videos and pictures to share. Let's get right into it. There I am. This is the Palm Beaches Marathon to benefit Special Olympics. So we'll be going down Flagler Drive, which is where I'm standing at right here. It's so nice. Look at these beautiful folks out here. It was on Friday, December 9th when I went to pick up my uh, racing package and uh, you know, they have the Sandy tree downtown West Palm on Flagler and vendors and stuff like that. And so I ended up going to a vendor called reggae beats and I was able to get a smoothie. It was so good. So I drank, I, I had half of the smoothie Friday and then Saturday after the race ended, I finished it. It was a pretty big pouch of smoothie is very good. But anyway, uh, this is the Palm Beaches Marathon. The weather was perfect yesterday. Uh, well, let's say Saturday, depending on when you watch this video, because I will be rerunning it. So I'm going to run down some of the uh, pictures that I was able to take before the race. I did a couple of videos during the race and then uh, a couple of pictures afterwards. So that is me uh, standing behind a little Palm Beaches Marathon 2022 signage. And then I was able to catch the sunrise. Um, I think I, yeah, I was sitting on the wall on Flagler and the sun was coming up. It was so gorgeous. And then I want to give a shout out to my husband, Chris, for these shoes that he got me from the uh, Nike store at the Palm Beach Outlet Mall. And I'd also like to thank the cashier who openly flirted with him and gave him double discounts and asked us how our relationship is going. Thank you, honey. And I told my husband every time he comes to that store to come see you, I appreciate you and your boldness. So I got another couple of pictures uh, that I took before the marathon. These are all before. Uh, we got started. And so let me go ahead and get into the video of everything. And here we go. So I'm out here at the Palm Beaches Garden of Life Marathon. And I am participating in honor of my family and in memory of Miss Rosie Johnson, who passed away December 9th, 2022. Rest in peace, Miss Rosie. All right, and so uh, I do have a picture of where I was standing, get, uh, waiting to start. You see how far back I am. Oh, my gosh, there were so many people out there. Excuse my voice because, you know, for the past week or so, I have been sick, and so I'm, I'm able to smell again, and my voice is not back all the way. It's still kind of deep, so bear with me, but it's coming back. I'm getting better every day. All right, doing much better than I was a week ago. All right, so let's get back to the start of the race. <laughs> Getting ready to get started. <laughs> All right, so the next video. All right, we just got started. They running, I'll be running back. Oh, that goofball ran into me. But whatever. We just got started. 
Start slow, finish fast. Okay, some of these people I'll be passing on the way back. All right, bye. So if, if you listen closely, I said that goofball ran into the back of me. There was this older lady. I don't know how old she is. She was pretty old. And she ran right into the back of me. She was uh, she was actually running in the race. I don't know if she did a 5K or a 10K. But she just ran right into the back of me. No excuse me or anything. But because of her age, I let her walk right on. I mean, run right on by. It ain't nothing. I was nice. All right, let's go to the next video. Well, I passed two miles. I got one more mile to go. Finish strong, number 5092. All right, so I did the 5K, which is three miles, which is a very long way, okay? Now, when I did the 5K at the MLK um, Marathon in May 2022, it took me an hour to walk three miles. And I'm talking not no regular strolling. I'm talking about Fred Flintstone, feet burning rubble, getting around there, trying to make it to the finish line. You know, I walk a little bit, I run a little bit. I walk a little bit, I run a little bit. And this time, I'm 38 pounds lighter than I was in May. So the only problem is I have arthritis in one of my hips and I'm in pain every day. And I said, I wasn't going to let that stop me from uh, participating in the marathon yesterday, or oh, well, Saturday, yesterday, whatever. So anyway, uh, you know, I stretched out. I actually walked a half mile as a warm up before we got started. Um, and then, you know, said my prayers and started walking. And then I walked all the way to, to the halfway mark. And then once we turned around to go to the finish line, um, I started jogging a little bit. Oh my God, I was in excruciating pain, but determined to finish. I was really sore uh, yesterday evening, but I slept very well. And this morning, I feel pretty good. Most of the soreness is gone. The hip is just doing the thing. That hip said, child, boo, ain't nothing changed. We still the same, <laughs> but uh, I'm doing okay. All right, so let's go on to our next uh video clip and uh this is when i cross the okay no i got one more and then i'll show you when i cross the finish line all right y'all number zero five two is almost at the finish line all right let me get out here and run the rest of the way bye Okay, yeah, so once I got close enough, I just ran in the rest of the way, and I was so grateful to be able to finish, and for the people who were cheering me along the way, um, I will say between this marathon and the MLK marathon, you can tell the difference in the budget, but I will say that the MLK uh, marathon was um for the participants along the way they had more water stations uh the palm beaches marathon only had one water station so you could pick up water going and or coming so i did both um and another thing um while i was when we first started you know everybody's bunched up together you got all the runners trying to get to the front and the fast walkers trying to outwalk everybody. And then you have the people who start slow, finish fast, which, which is me. Um, and then you have the ones who are just casually walking and the ones that are talking and walking the entire um, trek and just my kids, my husband, my granddad, my property, my job, everything they want to talk about. And then there was one lady who was, um, she was on Facebook live as she was walking and she was behind me. And the faster I walked, seems like the louder she got. And she was speaking in Spanish and como te llaman? And I was like, Lord, this is motivation for me to start running. And that's what I did. I just took off running, hurt hip and all. I don't care how bad my hip hurt. I had to get away from that lady because I didn't want to hear her conversation. And when I'm out 
doing those marathons or even when I'm out just uh, walking for exercise. That's my meditation and my peace time. It's when I talk to God, talk to myself, think about my goals, what I've accomplished, what I want to accomplish, people um, uh, I need to address or let things go, or whatever it is that's on my mind. That's my time for me and God to work it out. But for those people, that was they, oh, when we leave here, we're going to eat our Bradley's. And did you have coffee this morning? Oh, I need to go get some gas out the work. And not casual conversations among each other. It's like, so everybody can hear. Anyway, it was starting to get on my nerves. So I started running, which is good for me. Me and this old hip, we're going to work it out because we're going to the doctor this week. And we're going to work something out with it. Okay. All right. Let me get my glasses back on and uh, go to where... I crossed the finish line. So this is a video of me going over the finish line and my dedication to who I um, did this for. <laughs> All right. I just crossed the finish line. And this is the memory of Miss Rosie Johnson. Rest in peace. Thank you. And for my family. Uh, thank you. No, I'm okay. Thank you. So for my family, rest in peace, Miss Rosie. It's been fun. All right, bye. Okay, so um, Miss Rosie Johnson, she passed away uh, December, early morning of December 9th. And my next door neighbor, I've known her most of my life. And so to Tawara and to Keisha, Corey, and all of Mr. Johns, all the family members, um, Chris and I extend our condolences to you. And thank you for allowing me to represent her uh, in, uh, on at this, um, at this marathon. And I told Tawara, I said, I know your mom is enjoying all that heaven has to offer because uh, the marathon weather was absolutely perfect. Low humidity, it had a light breeze. It felt good, especially coming on the way back. I really, really enjoyed myself. Miss Rosie, your legacy will live on forever and ever and ever. Rest in peace, Miss Rosie. Okay, so after I got back uh, in my car, I went down to the uh, River Beach Heights Community Garden, and that's where Master Gardener Christopher was at there with the brothers from Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated, and that's the Kappa Upsilon chapter, All right? So uh, when I got there, um, before it got started, I asked somebody to take some pictures of me with my medal. All right, so let's get into that. And here I am showing off. <laughs> And that's my, uh, I love those camouflage tights. They are so comfortable. I wore those at the uh, MLK uh, Marathon in May as well. They're a little bit bigger now, but still comfortable. Mm -hmm, that's me flexing right now. Yeah, I'm showing that, yeah. And then there's an up-close picture of the medal that I received for completing the marathon. I did not stay for the award ceremony so if i won anything which i seriously doubt they will reach out to me through email and mail it to me they have all of my information um so moving right along speaking of the riviera beach heights community garden the gentleman from the kappa upsilon chapter of omega sci-fi fraternity inc get together on the second Saturday of each month at the Riviera Beach Heights Community Garden located at 1010 10th Street in Riviera Beach. So on December 10th, they got together from 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m., which is their usual time every second Saturday, to fellowship and work. And then they socialize a little bit after. So in this picture, you'll see the brothers that show up to volunteer. This was one Saturday um, where they came out to volunteer. They pull weeds, clean up the beds, they paint the beds, and keep the garden looking beautiful as part of their community service and giving back. And on the picture on the lower right in the uh, beige-looking uniform, that's your master gardener for Rivera Beach, Christopher McCullen. 
standing to standing next to none other than Mr. Malachi Knowles. And I have another picture to show from another one. In this picture, you will see the brothers of of uh, the Kappa Upsilon. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Kappa Upsilon chapter of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Inc. Here at the Riviera Beach Heights Community Garden at 1010 10th Street, Riviera Beach, from 9:30 until 12:30, the second Saturday of every month. They fellowship while they work, and then they socialize a little bit afterwards. So the picture in the middle, that's your garden manager. Her name is Alyssa Hall. We call her Allie. Very sweet lady. So there they are um, showing, you know, what they do. They pull weeds. They paint. They keep the garden looking beautiful, uh, volunteering their time. So on Saturday, December 10th, after I left the Palm Beaches Marathon, I went over. Um, but first of all, I knew that they were going to be there, and I especially wanted to see uh, Mr. Malachi and say hello to him. And here are some of the volunteers that showed up. I know this Ed Ferguson, your new Palm Beach County School, school District um, Commissioner. And in the middle of this, um, Darren Stustill and the gentleman on the end. I can't remember his name. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. But thank you, gentlemen, for coming. I sat out there for a few minutes. I, I didn't do any work. Um, a chair was pulled out for me. Uh, by one of the um, leaders in the group. And I sat down and chit-chatted and asked some questions. I got my questions answered about the fraternity. This is a great thing. And if your fraternity or sorority does anything similar to this, please contact me because I'd love to, um, I would love to talk about it. All right. And so if you also want to get in contact with the uh, River Beach Master Gardener. That's how you contact him. He has a Facebook page. It's called Christopher McCullen Master Gardener. Or you can just, you know, the little search thing that you click on, just put in the at symbol and put in Master Gardener Chris. And that Facebook page will, will pop up. I run the Facebook page. I run the Facebook page. I, I run the Facebook page. So, the content that's on there uh, is information that I run by Chris first, and then I put it on there. And the page is designed to help people, you know, who garden at home, who might be interested in starting a garden, how to maintain your garden, what you should plant in what season, you know, whether or not you should put fertilizer on your grass when the hurricane is coming, all kinds of stuff. And, the, you know, like the best time to to water your garden also during the day. There are certain times you should water your garden. Okay, so moving right along, and thank you again to the Kappa Upsilon chapter of Omega Stop 5 for coming out, volunteering now. The next date that they are supposed to be there should be January 14, 2023. Now, I don't know if, if they're going to keep that date because on January 14, 2023, the uh, city of Riviera Beach will be having their uh, annual MLK parade, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. parade. So hurry up and submit your application if you haven't already, uh, because the, the uh, deadline is approaching. So contact the city. Don't call me. Contact the city of Riviera Beach unless you call City Hall and I happen to answer the phone. The phone number is on the flyer for the Parks and Recreation Department. They have all the information you need in order to sign up for the annual MLK Parade. The phone number is 561-845-4070. Again, 561-845-4070. In the Parks and Recreation uh, office is located on the corner of S Avenue and Blue Heron Boulevard in Riviera Beach. All right. And then also, if you want to sign up to volunteer, because they can always use volunteers, same phone number, 561-845-4070. 561-845-4070. 
561-845-4070. That's the Riviera Beach Parks and Recreation Department. So the parade is Saturday, January 14th. It's a free event from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. You can register your band, your dance team, or your group. And then the new viewing location is on Avenue L, like Larry, Avenue L and Blue Heron Boulevard. The parade will start at Congress Avenue as usual and then travel east on uh, Blue Heron Boulevard and end at Avenue L. I think that's where the old public works building used to be. But anyway, get ready for the parade. Get your church, your walk group. Go ahead and sign up. Make it this week. Don't wait till the last minute. All righty. Okay, so we're going to move right along. Moving right along. Moving right along. Uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about is uh, if you're getting ready for your holiday party, if you have a salon, barber shop, uh, if you're a real estate agent and you need um, your place cleaned up for before the next people move in or after they move out, you got to clean up. So here's the best person to call and you could book her online. Call Latoya Special Touch. I've used her services before and she's very good, very uh, thorough. And make sure you book her. I think she'll be closed now from December 22nd through the 26th. Um, and you can also book online through her website. It's latoyasspecialtouch.com. And booking online is very easy. It pretty much does everything for you. You just put in what it is you want. It has the pricing information there. You can also get... Uh, a 15 minute consultation in case you're not sure which one to choose. You can always uh, call and she'll tell you which to choose. Okay, I'm trying to put her um, web address on here. Sorry. And that is it. Um, okay, there it is. So you can book online to Latoya's Special Touch. Dot com Latoya's special touch dot com. So, like it says, home, your home, your office, your salon, you know, any place that you need cleaned, dusted, like she does the top of the refrigerator cabinets, everything. Sweet mop. You can schedule a deep cleaning, and what that means, she'll clean every inch. She leaves nothing unturned. For that deep clean. And then don't be, don't, don't call her asking for a discount. Or, oh, I ain't got, mm -mm. no, no, this is a business. And we're going to support her business by paying full price. Okay. I pay full price and you can too. Um, so call Latoya Special Touch Professional Cleaning Services. And you can book online. You could say what day, what time you want her to be there. The pricing information is there. Uh, and then if you have a question about pricing, call the number. She'll help you. Okay, highly recommend it. And also Google Latoya Special Touch. Five star ratings all around. 561-767-5354. Let's support this business, okay? So, you know, and then also you can give her services as a gift to someone. Give her services as a gift to a senior citizen, and, and especially salons and barbershops. Y'all know the people don't be cleaning up at the end of the day. You need that place sanitized. You need all of that hair out of there. Call Latoya, and her employees will get you right, okay? And then also, she's a trustworthy business, licensed and bonded. Licensed and bonded. Latoya Special Touch 561-767-5354. And then one more time, go online. Now, please go look at her website because everything that she does is on there. Book online at latoyaspecialtouch.com. Okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, South Florida Gospel News award-winning South Florida Gospel News award-winning South Florida Gospel News. Um, you could buy stars. 
on Facebook to support South Florida Gospel News. We need every day. We need support. Thank you so much for those who support us. And please like and share this video so that some more people will know about the great things that we are doing here in South Florida. But when you see that thing that say buy stars, stars are one penny a piece. Give me 10. Give me 10 stars, please. Buy some, buy two stars, anything. Thank you so much for your support. All right. So the next thing that we are going to discuss are some wonderful books that are available for sale. And they are Riviera Beach Moments, Volumes 1 through 3. And then also The Sparrow Watcher. Now, both books are available on Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. All you got to do is put in Riviera Beach Moments or put in The Sparrow Watcher. Please support. And um, Riviera Beach Moments, Volumes 1 through 3 is a history of the city of Riviera Beach from the beginning up until present time. There is a volume four of Riviera Beach Moments that will be coming out in January 2023. I'm working as hard as I can to get that thing done, okay? And then Sparrow Watcher. Now, Mary Hall, who is my mother, wrote The Sparrow Watcher. Great book. has great poetry in it. And it pretty much uh, talks about her life. Like, And then it has nuggets of wisdom, okay? Like, um, none of her sons went to prison. Um, How she lived through uh, segregation and things that happened. And she talks about her father in the book and some things that happened to him uh, because of racism. But uh, the book is is an inspiration. So with everything that she talks about that happened in her life, she has a point that goes with that. So it's a great inspirational book. And again, both books are available on Amazon.com, Riviera Beach Moments, Volume 1 through 3, and then The Sparrow Watcher. She also has another book called Embracing Winter that talks about uh, life for seniors and how after you retire you know that's when life really begins it's not the end it's the beginning so embracing winter the sparrow watcher and a riviera of each moments volumes one through three are available and so i would like to thank you for uh watching this video please like share buy some stars okay uh support the businesses buy the books and then i will leave uh this last thing um This quote that I came up with, that is true to life, especially today. And it says, always remember that the weapons and its evilness that people try to form against you and your loved ones will never prosper. And that's a message from God, not me. And with that, I will thank you again for joining me here on the South Florida Gospel News um i was out last week because i was sick but i'm back and then we're going to be um talking about some holiday things next week if you have a holiday party please invite me because i want to go to everyone that i can please if you're having something i'm coming i think there's something on uh next saturday december 17 whatever it is i'll be there i think it's two things that's going on but i'll be there um but anyway y'all take care please like and share this video buy some stars and uh, rewind it, watch it again, and please tell a friend. All right now, bye-bye.